Story time. You know what's crazy to me? Just how much different it is in the dating world right now compared to what? 10 years ago or 20 years ago or it's just insane it really is and i'm saying this too because like back then when i was you know like dating or a teenager or whatever like it was kind of more simple i mean even before then it was just much simpler you know the way it was is that like you know um where you know the guy asks the girl out you know and let's say he's like paying for it right pay for the movies dinner whatever they, they are doing and that was pretty much how it went and the girl will be impressed and she'll say yeah let's go on another day or so on and so forth right that was like the main thing or basically chivalry and that's how it was then over time that slowly changed due to you know situations in our life and also this whole feminist movement kind of thing or just you know women trying to be independent women trying to say like oh i don't need a man and it's just the whole in like the decline of it and it's just it's just insane and I'm saying all that, and I'm not saying that that's, like, the only reason why this is happening. It's just that, like, over time, like I said, it's just, it just changed, man. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, uh, because here, because nowadays, it's like this. Yeah, that can still happen, and what's unfortunate about it is that when that still happens, it pretty much only applies or it only works for the uh, good people, you know? Like, the good guy and the good girl, because it's the uh, traditional role you know, of how dating is and blah, blah, all that stuff, right? But now it's like more and more, um, you have these women who are here are expecting that, you know, like how, like how it was. The only difference is that they expect that and they feel entitled for it, you know, to where it's like they can be whoever they want. So they can be mean, they can be rude, they can be this, that, blah, blah, right? They can just exist. And with that, they still expect the guy to pay for everything and treat her with respect and be all nice and everything while she over here just doing her own thing or just, you know, being her dumb self or whatever and so forth. That's the problem. And then you have guys over here who are seeing that and not treating women right or just not giving them the time of life or this and that so forth, which to be fair, if they're doing that, then yeah, I totally get that. I can't blame them for that. I really can't, you know? But my point is, is that it's just changed. It really has, you know, because what if I was dating right now and I here, if I was dating right now, I would still do what, you know, I, I did back then, which is, just, you know, you know, mingo, chat and this and that, blah, 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 right. You know, and I still take them out, still pay for this and this and that, because that's who I am. And that's how I was raised and everything. Right. But I will say that I will be more cautious, though. I will say that because of how much things have changed for the worse apparently and it's just that was crazy but anyways but for this video though i guess i did want want to uh talk about dating you know um by that i mean like mainly of how i did it back then you know and kind of compare it to now and how would i do it so i guess what you could say uh, let's see let's go back to um I kind of want to say let's go back to middle school because that's that's where like you know i guess like where i truly started to like girls and everything now granted i pretty much already said you know a whole bunch of stuff back back then with my other videos and everything so just i'll, I'll just make it brief you know so yeah so middle school junior high you know start liking girls because of their parents you know and that's because they're developing more and <laughs> that stuff you know but um i never actually i guess asked them out and then it wasn't until high school um, to where freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, you know, I was still single, you know, still, still alone. Well, I mean, I had friends, but, you know, um, still a virgin, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. Right. And it was just mostly because, you know, I was just, you know, too shy or nervous to, you know, you know, take, take the step to ask a girl out. Um, and because of that, that's where I got friends on a lot, you know, with like all the girls who I was friends with and everything. It's just like, I didn't mind it, you know? I really didn't, um, because, you know, I did enjoy the company, and, you know, I did talk to them, and talk to them a lot. I, I remember where the girls would always tell me that, that I was um, good at conversations, you know? I was good to socialize, I was good to, like, listen, talk to them about any of their problems or issues or whatever the case may be, you know? And I believe that that's one of my best qualities even today even with my uh, current job right now to where I can, you know, use my social skills to 
help me uh, do what I gotta do, you know? And, and and also just just in general too, you know? Like I can talk to people to where like, you know, I can just meet someone and talk to them and they'll be telling me about their dark secrets in like what hours? <laughs> anyways, anyways, uh, backtracking. So yeah, so even though I was like that, like I said though, I was, was kind of um, shy and nervous to, you know, ask the girl out and everything because of the whole rejection. Because that's one of our biggest fears, or at least back then, you know, and uh, even now, depending on who you are, is rejection. Because we don't want to look like an idiot. We don't want to look stupid. We don't want to, you know, be embarrassed and be like, oh my God, can we just do this? Or worse too, let's say you have a friend, right? And then you ask her out and everything. Um, but then she says no. And that can ruin your whole relationship that you already had <laughs> with, with that friend. And that's unfortunate. Or on the other hand, it doesn't, and you and all you did was get a uh, confirmation that she only sees that as a friend, and then both of you can just um, move forward. You know, that's like the best case scenario. But anyways, but it wasn't until um, my senior year, or pretty much like after junior year, so like you know after uh, the uh, end of the year, that's when I had my first uh, uh, girlfriend, and yeah, and. Again, I've already made a video about, you know, how that started and how that ended and all that stuff, right? But I'm pretty much just talking about, you know, I guess, like, how it, it got to that point kind of thing. To where, like, I finally took that step. The thing is, though, how I took that step, though, and this is the part right here that I mainly just want to talk about and, you know, and, and, and how, you know, my life has been in the dating world, is that I got to know them first. Excuse me about that. Funny enough, though... You would think that would be something people would already know about is to find out who they are first. And the way I do it and the, the way I tell people how to do it or whatever is just to hang out with them. That's it. By hanging out, um, I mean, like, you know, just get to know them, right? Pretty much like you get to know them, you talk to them, you can like go out, you know, Still go to movies, you know, still have dinner and all stuff, right? The difference is you're not trying to pursue her or 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 him or basically just, just them, right? You're not trying to have any romantic relationships or do anything romantic or even sexually. So you're literally just hanging out as just friends strictly, you know? And yeah, if, if you want to, you could flirt a little bit, you know, to kind of like, you know, like like give them hints that you are interested in everything. That's that's what I find. However, it's like you're not trying to kiss them. You're not trying to, you know, like, like, like hold them exactly. You're not trying to do all, all that stuff, right? You're pretty much just hanging out with them, getting to know them, having fun, and that's it. Plain point, plain point and simple. That's it, you know? And I know someone's going to say, like, well, I mean, don't you do that during dating? You know, when, when you're dating, you can do all that stuff and find out who they are. And yes, you are correct. You can't do that. However, in my opinion, though, hanging out with them first and, and actually knowing who they are can actually save you the trouble. By that I mean, instead of just jumping the gun right away and they try and date them and trying to get with them and this and that and so forth, if uh, worst case scenario happens or like, you know, bad things happen to where you guys don't work out or what well, a serious situation, <laughs> let's say if, you know, you, you, you literally just start a date without knowing them and let's say you two get busy, right? And let's say no, she gets pregnant or let's say no, this happens or let's say no, like, like anything can happen like that, right? The difference is that, or the benefit of just like, hanging out with them, is that you can just avoid all that stuff. Not, on, not only that too, but also when you hang out with them, you get the idea of who they are first. That way, when you're hanging out with them and spending time with them, you can figure out who they are, and then you can also figure out, okay, should I spend my time with them? Should I spend my resources on them? You know? So once you figure out kind of who they are, then you have like the ultimatum of saying okay yes or no to like x amount and that's pretty much what i did in my life so basically what i'm saying is that even though i only had you know three girl three girlfriends in my life you know and and i had you know many girls around me you know from high school even college years and all that stuff right like like i was friends with mostly just just like you know women right so even though i only had the relationships if I didn't follow that rule I had of hanging out with them first or getting to know them first, I could have had, you know, like what, like 20 girlfriends or just be with 20 women and, you know, blah, 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 <laughs> you know, all that stuff. I could have. 
But again, because you know, I was kind of shy at first until I got out of that during college. But also again, too, I hung out with them first. And I think that's something that, that people aren't doing a lot anymore, you know? Because like, you see these videos, right? Or, you know, people posting things, their experience and all that stuff. Basically saying like, oh, we dated, you know, for so long. Or, oh, you know, she was like this. Or, oh, he was like that. And whatever the case may be. But I realized that most of these right here, it's just like, okay, did you actually got, you know, took the time to get to know them? You know, most of them, I'm finding out that they're not. And that's where they just jump straight to dating. Which, again, hey, you, you do you though. But like I said earlier... If you want to kind of avoid like the messiness or whatever, then you should probably get to know them first and just hang out with them. You know, that's one. Or they do hang out with them, right? However, the thing is though, is that they hang out with them, but for how long? And that's the other thing too. So like they'll say, oh yeah, we got to know each other for like you know a few days. Okay, that's fine. And I'm not saying you know like um you should do it in, in a certain time frame and this and that so forth. I mean, you, you can do it uh, wherever you want, you know, at the end of the day, you really can. But for me, it's just like, um, well, in my experience, at least, you know, like, you know, like and so forth. It's just like, I, let's see, I should try to think. Because it's, <laughs> it's been a while, okay? Yeah, here, look, I've been married for, for, for years and everything, right? <laughs> but anyways, I'm trying to think back. But if I recall right too, when I was like hanging out with them, I will be just hanging out with them for like, what, a week, you know, weeks, months, or just however long it would take me, you know? Now, granted, it didn't take me um, like, you know, like uh, that long to figure out who the person was, you know? I pretty much got a good feeling about them after like a week, you could say, you know, or, or even a few days. However, if I really had an interest in her, and if for some reason, if I couldn't figure her out, then yeah, it would take me like, you know, some time to be like, okay, should I or should I not? Now, I know that the negative side about that is that, you know how, like, you know, if you wait too long, it'd be too late kind of thing. I think that's the bad side about that. So, I know, you know, people say, oh, shoot, shoot your shot right now, you know, like, don't wait this and that, which, fair enough. And yes, that can be true at times, too, you know, and I'm, I'm not saying, you know, like, you should wait or this and that. You do what you want, though. But again, I'm saying, though, like, if you actually just take the time, actually, you know, get to know them first, then again, you can just avoid you know, messy situations. And to be honest, it actually w w would be more beneficial for your life as well, depending on who you are. So with me, let, let's see, let's see here. If I, like here, here, um, let's see. Okay, so here, I had this one, uh, this, uh, one friend, right? Um, let's call her uh, D for now. And no, this girl, I have not mentioned about, about her in any of my other videos before. But basically, there's a girl D, right? And for me, I, I I thought she was cute, you know, and that and that she was cool and everything and so forth. But I pretty much hung out with her first and everything, and then it wasn't quite hitting me just yet. So yeah, I could have just you know you know just asked her out and say, hey, you want to do this and that, right? But eh, I wasn't too sure because I wasn't really feeling it. Oh, sorry about that. I had to say for a second. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, so. After about like, like like a week or two, that's pretty much kind of when I figured out, you know what, me and her can just, you know, be friends and we'll just chill out and that's it, right? Ah, my allergies. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. I'm like muting my mic so that way you guys don't hear me sneezing and everything. Ugh. I don't know why, my, my, my allergies are kind of bothering me, so I'm not sure if you can tell or not. But anyways, uh, yeah, so after about like two weeks and everything, and I pretty much like come to the conclusion where I'm like, you know what, me and her can just stay at friends because there were a few things that I, I didn't like, you know, or what she did and everything, which is fine, you know, and like, like, you know, of course, you know, I don't have to, you know, like everybody's interests or what they do and this and that, right? But anyways, but that's where the whole hangout part, I guess, like, uh, came through for me. So basically, it's like if I were to act her out, right, and this and that. Then I would have ran to those problems and then be like, oh, okay, or oh, this and that. To where, yeah, of course, I can just break up with her. However, that's not me. I'm not that person to where, you know, I date someone and then I plan to just break up with them, you know? And you know what? Here, I'll get to that uh, topic uh, after this, whatever, about the whole um, situation like that. And I think it's stupid. But anyways, so, so basically what I'm saying, though, is that if I were to date her, this and that, I would have to, you know... 
I guess, what, quote, suffer the consequences? I don't know. <laughs> Basically, I would just have to deal with that, and then I would either have to work around it, or I had to do something about it, you know? So, to avoid that, you know, complication and stuff, or whatever, then I just don't ask her out, and I just still be a friend. And it was fine. It, it worked out and everything, so forth, you know? But, uh, yeah, so that's what I mean about hanging out, too. And, again, it's just that now times people either aren't just hanging out or they are, but not good enough amount of time to where, you know, they start to run into all these problems with, with that person. And that's just my, I guess, like, my advice on that is to hang out with them, get to know them first before you do any kind of romantic things with them or any kind of, you know, sexual things with them, you know? Because it's going to save some heartbreaks. It's going to save, you know, some feelings, you know, both sides, probably. I said probably, though, because their person, I don't know. They could have feelings for you, and then it's just like, oh, what are you doing this and that, right? I don't know. But also, here, you know what? I pretty much did the same thing with my uh, wife, too, actually. Uh, you know, before me and her started dating and everything. Because I met her, and, of course, you know, to me, you know, she's one of the most beautiful women that I met, you know. And for me, I completely... You know, just said, okay, she is out of my way, you know, because she was gorgeous, you know, you know, you know, a smooth, uh, fair, you know, skin tone, you know, this and that, and, you know, you know, curvy, blah, 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 awesome, right? Pretty much, like, for me, the perfect, you know, like, you know, like woman, <laughs> this and that. And for me, I saw myself as, well, I mean, I know for sure I'm not ugly, <laughs> you know? I know I'm not ugly. However, even to this day, I still don't think I'm, like, handsome. Now, now I know that, that that's, like, a... I guess you could say kind of like a, a insecure problem, you know, and I will admit that, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is and everything, but that's on me, you know, but I know enough to where, you know, I am attractive to the extent, <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say, anyways, but even so, I still thought, you know, like, like, you know, she was, or like, you know, like, wait, wait, is it, is it, is it she out on my leg or my, okay, I, I think it's, yeah, she been out of, my leg, or I'm out of her leg. Basically, all I'm saying is that, like, for me, I felt like I wasn't good enough. There you go, okay? But, um, when me and her hung out and this and that and so forth, yeah, we were hanging out, yeah, that was cool, but then I started to know about her, you know, more. To where I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out. <laughs> Funny how I'm saying that, and yet, here I am, married to her. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, but, um, yeah, at first, I did not see m myself get married to her at all. I'm not joking, seriously, because she has some problems with her to where, like, yeah, she was beautiful and this and that. However, she was all into social media. She was all kind of into herself. And she knew that, you know, she was, <clears throat> excuse me, she knew that she was, you know, you know, gorgeous and sexy and everything, right? And she was, you know, materialistic and all that stuff. So pretty much like your typ typical kind of modern day woman, right? <laughs> That's who she was. And I'm like, yeah, no. And, and of course, the kind of like, well, I, w I won't say nail on the coffin because, because again, he here I am with it, right? But basically to where I, I came to the conclusion, I'm like, yeah, I know about it, is that she constantly drank a lot. And I'm not into that at all, you know? I mean, like, I don't mind people drinking. That's always fine, you know? But if you're drinking so much to where like like you're drunk or you have to get drunk and like just wasting this stuff, you know all that stuff and just like yeah no no just stay away from me I'm, I'm not for that or anything you know but anyways so when I came to that conclusion with her right and then I was like you know what yeah I'm not gonna ask her around this and that and there came to times to where I had I wanted to cut her off <laughs> a few times but there was something that I was kind of telling me to to stick around. And to this day, I think that's, you know, probably like, you know, God told me, like, you know, to stick around this and that, because, again, here I am. <laughs> Anyways, um, but the first time that that happened to where I wanted to cut her off, and that happened, I was like, all right, fine. And then I stuck around, you know, long enough to pretty much finally know the real her. By that, I mean, she wasn't, you know, to where she was sober. To where she wasn't, you know, you know, you know, basically being fake, you know, because that was the one thing about her too, is that, is that, as I can tell that that she was kind of being fake, kind of like putting a, a show or, or kind of like having like a max, you know, to where she has to be like this, this, and that. But then once she finally took that off, you know, to where she felt comfortable with, with me to talk about herself, her feelings, you know, and, and her, you know, dark, you know, dark secrets and everything, then that's when I'm like, okay, there's the real you right there. And with that, 
that's where I want to hang out with her more and, and then finally get to know the real her. And again, this plays a part to where I say hanging out because by the time this happened, me and her didn't do anything, you know, romantic still. You know, me and her didn't, didn't like, you know, do anything sexual. At least I don't think so. Not, 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 not that you, but wait, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah, 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 okay, 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 yeah, me and her didn't do anything at all, period, uh, you know, by, by that point, and I say that, though, because, like, the first time me and her actually did something, or whatever, and that was a crazy night, too, you know what, maybe, I, <laughs> you know what, maybe I'll make a video about how that happened, it was on Valentine's, I, like, it happened on our first uh, Valentine's Day together, and we were just, um, as friends for Valentine's Day, okay, and maybe I'll make a video about that in details and everything because that's that's a story. So, <laughs> anyways, and also I guess that that all depends if my wife will even let me too because <laughs> to her it's kind of embarrassing. Anyways, but um yeah, so by that point, me and her didn't do any sexual or had any uh romantic, I guess like feelings or this and that so forth. But again, it did help me out to figure out who she was, and before I did anything else with her too. And by that time that happened. It was months in, okay? Because I met her, now I think about it, it's been uh, exactly eight years since we met because we didn't meet in uh, October of 2016. It was it was like the first week of October and not the second week, I forgot. But yeah, but yeah, yep, it's been eight years now, cool. Anyways, but yeah, but it took months for me to actually finally, I guess, um, make that step with her, you know? So yeah, again, this is an example of what I'm saying about hanging out with them first and then and then so on. Because again, it does save the trouble of, you know, getting involved in um, in a messy, you know, uh, area or a messy person, you know? And it did kind of help me with that because I will admit that if I did, you know, ask her on a date or did anything with her, like right away or, or even after a week, then I kid you not, I don't think me and her would have last. I'm not joking, you know? <laughs> well, that's how it is. But yeah, but it's just like that, and crap, you know what? What was the other thing that I wanted to talk about, about this uh, hanging out day to day situation? Um, I totally forgot. I don't know, maybe it'll come back to me and everything. But it's just not for me. I guess like, I, I, I just want to just like talk about it because like, you know, again, too, this whole day, 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 you know, scenario or like situation, it's just kind of crazy to me. It really is. Of how much things has has changed, you know, to where you know, um, and you know, what? I know social media is a big part of it because even like ten years ago, right? You know, and ten years ago was when I was in, I was in you know college years and everything to where yeah, people had social media, obviously, you know, even oh, excuse me, <laughs> but anyways, but even like in high school too. Even, you know, kind of like, I think junior high too, because I, me I remember uh, MySpace and uh, in, in MySpace or whatever. I can't remember. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it was mainly in high school because I was in high school between uh, tw uh, 2006 to uh, 2010. But, you know, that, that was the thing, you know, of course, people post about their, um, you know, their live pictures, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? You know, pretty much the same exact thing as today. The only difference is that, like, people were doing it, but it wasn't as frequent or chaotic as it is now or the past, you know, recent years, you know? But, um, yeah, it's just like, oh, you know what? Yeah, because, because, like, nowadays with the whole, you know, day situation, it's just like, you know, you have these, um, unrealistic expectations now, you know? And by that, I mean, like, um, earlier, I, I mean, like, how, you know, how, uh, women are now feeling more entitled, you know, of just existing, right? Like, like, oh, I'm a woman, therefore, you should just do this, this, and that for me. And back then, yeah, that's, that's kind of how it was, to an extent. But, but nowadays, you know, now they're just being mean and rude and, like, all this stuff, like I said. So, therefore, now, it's just like, no. Like, you can't just exist anymore, you know? Now, you gotta actually earn it. You know, now, you gotta show me that, no, you are worth it now, you know? Just like how women are towards men, to where, like, and it's, like, kind of fortunate, you know, it's been a thing, too, how, like, men are only worth it 
by their resources or it, or if they can protect them or like if they you know this this and that so you know and us men we can't just like, avoid, like, like you know get women by just existing yeah of course they can find us attractive you know handsome you know strong or, or whatever else, you know you know, you know that, that may be but at the, at the end of the day that they want someone to provide for them they want someone to protect them they want someone that can you know take care of them you know, you know at the end of the day somehow some, some way and again, back then, for women, it's just like, oh, all I did was just, you know, look pretty. And then that's pretty, much, that's pretty much it. But now you got to work on your character. And again, I'm kind of, you know, putting blame, not just all blame, though, but a big part of it on this whole, you know, like this independent woman movement thing, you know, of, of, of feminism, you know, kind of thing. And that, like all that, all that other stuff, you know. And it really is sad. It really is. So, I mean, hopefully, you know, well, I don't know. I want to say hopefully things, <clears throat> I guess, like turn around or like, you know, these come back to how it was back then. Now, I can't really say that because, you know, like we still move forward in life and everything. But I guess like in a way, it's just like, yeah, like, you know, like online dating and all that stuff is still going to happen. But hopefully there the, the comes like, like, you know, a time soon enough to where, now we could we kind of backtrack to how things were you know by that i mean you know like uh women just stopping you know trying to be so independent and so forth or like what trying to say like i don't need a man this and that so forth now now uh grant said though i know you know again times have changed like you know these are more expensive this and that so forth so i totally get how you know if you live in like a two-parent like you know household of course you know both of them would probably have to work you know, unfortunate, but that's how things are now, you know, so that's one. And two, because, you know, women, you know, are being more independent or, you know, the whole, they have rights and, you know, all this other stuff, right? You know, so where, like, they now have to kind of, like, you know, fend for themselves or work for, uh, for themselves. And I'm not opposed to that at, at all either, because, yeah, you do what you got to do now, you know, because, again, you know, times have changed and everything. However, when it comes to the whole day situation, it's just like, <clears throat> well, Find a good man, like you know, first, you know, make sure, make sure he's, you know, nice, caring, and you know, this and that, blah, 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 right? But um, like when you do, then I'm pretty sure you can rely on him now, you know, because because if you find a good man, then yeah, he's gonna make sure that he that they, that he does take care of you too, because I'm pretty sure as a good man like, like myself, I want to provide as well. I want to take care of her, you know. I want to be like, hey. I'm your man, I got you, this and that, so forth, you know, because that's what men naturally do, that's how we, you know, work, and, and, like, that's how our brains are, and, 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 like, everything, right, you know, so, she can rely on a man, that's totally fine, and actually, that's very natural, you know, or at least in my opinion, you know, of, like, how it is, now, I'm not opposed to her, again, I'm not opposed to her if she wants to work, okay, that's fine, she wants to go to school, that's fine, you know, and everything, but, I just don't like it when women, you know, can't like what say they can't rely on a man or that they don't want to or they don't need to and all stuff. It's like, no, you can't, you know. And you know, kind kind of coming off of that too, it kind of goes with the same with um, men too as well. Like, yes, I know men can like you know um, be okay by themselves. I mean, I know I can't too, <laughs> you know. I can just you know be at home as long as I'm you know you know eating doing. What I want to do, doing do what I had to do, play games and all that stuff, I'll be totally okay, you know? And that's true. The thing is, though, for me personally, and I'm pretty sure, you know what? And I'm pretty sure every man, too, regardless if they, if they won't admit it or anything, is that even though we can, like, survive ourselves and be okay, I'm pretty sure deep down, we still want someone, you know? And granted, I know um, when. When uh, guys say that, they say, well, you know, I got a friend I can talk to, so, so, so like, that's my company, you know, which, fair enough, that's true. But even so, like, what, if, if, if I was just saying I just had a friend, you know, like, like what, a guy friend, this and that, I still, you know, you know, truly desire to have a woman by me, you know, a, to have a, a woman, you know, uh, with me. And I'm pretty sure every man feels the same way, you know, like, like, like they want that partner with them and everything. So when you hear the, the, these men just saying like, like um oh, uh, you know I, you know we don't need women, women are this and that so forth. I'm okay by myself. I'm completely fine, you know, being alone, this and that. I've even seen videos like that to where the guy's like, what, forty or like you know about to hit fifty, and I've seen videos to where the guy's completely alone, like you know, 
no wife, no kids, or anything and so forth. You know, he wants to be just, just you know, like I said, alone, just isolated. And again, that's fine. Do your life in there and so forth. And yeah, and I will admit, men can can be alone for a long time and be totally okay. But again, too, I just I don't. And again, this is just my opinion, right? Like like my point of view or or, or whatever. It's just that like. I don't care who you are. You could say all that, but but seriously, I'm pretty sure deep down, or, or like in the back of your head, or something like that, you you actually want someone, you know? Because again, too, like 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 you know, as human beings, too, um, we can't just be by ourselves, you know. We love to so, you know to socialize. We love that connection with someone else, and we actually, in a way, we actually do depend on each other as well, you know. So even though we, we, we can have all the survival skills and just be isolated and all that stuff, right? But at the end of the day, we still just want someone there. And and, and like I said, you know, you know, again, deep down too, I'm pretty sure we, we, we want a partner there that we can be with for life, you know, for like loving and, uh, and like all this stuff. And I think when it comes to these men who are saying that they want to be alone and everything, like... At least from what I'm seeing and everything, it seems like they're saying this because you know they might have been heartbroken, you know, a few times. They they might have you know you know been uh, betrayed. They might have you know backstabbed and like all this stuff, right? Which honestly, in a way, I can't blame them. I really can't because like it's one thing. Let's say if you if you if you're like a whistle, right? You tell them all your secrets and this and that so forth. And then all of a sudden they just blur it out someone else, or they just go go behind your back and this and that, so forth, right? Basically take advantage of you, and then you're like, oh my god. So again, like I can't really blame them, you know. The thing is though, when that happens, I don't I don't believe that you can't just like just shut yourself out completely, you know. Yeah, that happened, but why would that stop you from kind of moving forward, or why would that stop you completely from trying to find someone else or talk to someone else, you know? Now, I will say, like, yeah, take that experience and be more cautious, you know, for next time, you know? Like, don't just pour everything out on someone right away or don't say this or say that, you know? Or, like I said, hang out with them first before you actually date them, <laughs> you know? So going back to that right there, too. This is why, you know, you should probably hang out with them and find out who they are first before you start open up your heart, before you start doing, you know, anything romantic or anything and so forth, right? But anyways, um, so it's like that, too. So take that as a learning experience, then use that for you know, in the future about when you try to find someone else. But um, now I know that they might get too cautious and everything. And hey, just take your time, you know, because no one, because no one's rushing you or no one's trying to tell you, hey, you should do this. No, 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 whatever, you know. I'm not even trying to, I guess, like tell someone that either. Like, like no, get back on your feet and do it right now. No, take the time you have to, you know, put yourself back back up or whatever, right, you know? But again, like, going back to what I was saying, too, this is why I can't fully agree with, you know, men saying that they can just be by themselves and just don't want anyone. Like, every time a man say, says that, for me, I'm like, I'm like calling, calling like BS on that, you know? Like, like I believe that that's how they, they feel at the moment. And they might say like, "Oh, I'm gonna feel like this for the next like year or two. Okay, like fine. But in the long run, no, I'm pretty sure you want something, you know. Not not that too though, but also even you know, you know older people like who are in their 60s, you know, and up and everything. Like I've heard stories um, about them and how they uh, have regrets, you know. Even the ones who are single, you know, like, you know, single and been like isolated, you know, to where. Uh, they're like, they're like, well, yeah, I kind of wish I, you know, had someone, or well, yeah, I kind of wish I had kids, or well, this and that, you know. And it's just moments like that to where, I guess you could say you don't really think about it when you're like young, like you know, like 30 and under, or or even in your 30s too. Or <laughs> nowadays, sometimes it's, it's in your 40s, <laughs> right? But anyways, um, and to me, I find that kind of sad. I really do. And yeah, because you know I, I've been there too. You know I was young and this and that so forth. So I didn't really think about it right now. And everybody wants things in the present, right? Everybody wants things right now. Everybody wants things like happening at the moment. And that's kind of unfortunate how our our society has like been so consumed by you know too. To where like too many people are thinking about the future, you know. And again, this kind of relates to to the whole you know finding a partner and this and that. That's why I say hey, hang out first before you just jump jump the gun, right? Even even if you, and to be honest, that even comes to the whole, you know, having sex too. It's like, 
It's like, dude, you don't even know this person, and you're already like smashing it, <laughs> like, like, like right there. It's like, all right, hey, you, you do you. I get it. Like, like, you know, people have to have their knees, and, and they, they just want to do it. But it's like, what about the consequences that happens afterwards, right? Anyways, but it's just like that stuff, you know. And again, this all like everything that I'm saying right now, and I'm sorry if I'm kind of going out of place because hey, again, in, in these videos, I'm just speaking in the moment and everything. I don't really like you know have like a script you know for me, but um. Even though I'm saying all, all this stuff, this all relates to my whole, you know, first point about, you know, hanging out with someone or like, you know, getting to know someone. I guess that's the whole point of this right here is that, is that like, you, you should really get to know someone first, you know, before making the choice to pursue it or making the choice to, you know, be, be with them and this and that, blah, blah, and, and, and everything. And I was saying about, the future and, and so forth because even uh, i want to talk about you know uh men being you know isolated and, and, and alone and i didn't mention too probably because of you know the the bad things that has you know ha happened to them but again this kind of ties you know back into the, 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 whole, the whole point of why i'm saying all, all this you know is to just you know get to know the person first and everything i mean let's see I think there was someone else too that I was talking, that I was saying about. I don't know, but um, yeah. So I think that's pretty much all I can say right now. <laughs> it's about the hang up part, because that's what, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. It's just to you know get to know someone and hang out with them so, uh, at first, right? And I truly hope people actually just do that now. You know what? In here, like I said too, nowadays just people are just doing it, and I feel like just. Nowadays, people are just getting just bad advice on how to date and what to do. You know what's funny too? You got these single people out here, mainly single women, I guess you could say, who try to give dating advice of how to get a man or how to marry someone or this and blah, 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 right? And it's like, okay, so I want to take advice to someone who is single and they want to give me advice about being married or keeping a man and you're single. You know, <laughs> granted, I here and here I will say this. Okay, I'm not, I'm not like 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 you know innocent about this too, because I gave date advice before too, right? You know, of like of like how to get a girl in there and so forth while I was single too, and I think that's kind of in, in here, and in, in my defense right here, I think it was fair to the point to where I was trying to give them tips and advice of how to get a girl, but when it came to keeping them, you know, when it came to actually marry them. That's where I didn't talk about, or like, or like, that's where I, I didn't get, like, you know, that far. I pretty much gave them advice of how to, of how to get a girl, you know, and, and, and how to find a, a good one, and like all stuff too, you know. But when it comes to about actually keeping them from the long run, this and that, that's where I didn't talk about. So I guess that's my defense right there. But you got, you got people saying how to, you know, keep a man, and it's just like, ah, okay. And yet, and yet here you are single, and yet you have. How many boyfriends or this and that? Um, okay, <laughs> there's that. And they got men out here who's saying how to how to also you know be married this and that too, and, and they're single. And to be honest, it's kind of the same thing too. It's like it's like okay, well you're single, yet you're telling me how to also you know like 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 like, like, like keep a woman this and that so forth, you know. So there's that too. Granted, only a few men do that <laughs> that that I've seen, and it's more so of the women who are doing this right. But hey, I don't know. But anyways. And I could go on, you know, I, I, I can know like um, more about other topics too, but I basically just want to focus on, on this one, right? You know? So, yeah. So, hopefully, you guys got, you know, you know something out of this. And yeah, just like I said too, you know, get someone first or hang out with them. Don't do anything romantic or this and that's over. Now, if you want to, go right ahead. You know, if you want, if you want to flirt, go right ahead. I'm not telling you what to do exactly. I'm just saying, though, if I had to get some advice or tips, I would say do this first before you actually, you know, date them, before you actually get romantically involved or anything and so forth. Because trust me, if you do this, it will save you some headaches. It will save you from, you know, anything, like, you know, along the road that can, uh, I guess, ruin something if you, if, if you um, want to think of it that way or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, all right. But that's it for today. And hopefully you guys have a good day, good week, good month. And you're all doing just fine. And thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.